Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Chi and I just wanted to share with you guys a few of my favorites that I've absolutely been loving. One of them being the new uh, Born This Way Too Faced Multi-Use Concealer and um, I have a few other products that I've tried as well. Some old, some new. It's, and some of them are just new to me. <laughs> I haven't tried but it may be old to you guys. And if you want to watch Watch me recreate this look then continue watching hey guys welcome back now I do want to share some items that I recently purchased at Sephora and I do have some old items that I'm absolutely loving but I wanted to show you some new items that I've purchased that I'm absolutely loving <laughs> okay so I've already have my face moisturized and it's primed I use the no pore blim primer and now I'm going to go in with the YSL all nighter oh sorry all hours foundation and I have the shade BD 55 now I purchased this shade, well not this particular shade, but I purchased this foundation before and I think it was BD50 and the undertone was very neutral. So I ended up returning it and then a few months later, I believe like one or two months later, they came out with 11 additional shades and then I tried BD55 and it has more of a yellowy undertone. So I ended up purchasing that. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the foundation on. Now this foundation is full coverage and it's a matte foundation so it has like a matte finish it's not super matte to where it's like super drying or maybe it's not super drying to me because I have oily skin but I don't find it too drying at all Okay, so this is what the first layer looks like. And I feel like when you do use a sponge, it starts off with a medium coverage. So I'm going to put in a second layer for full coverage. But if you were using a brush, uh, you would have gotten full of fuller coverage the first time. But I am using a sponge. Okay, and this is the second layer. Full coverage. Um, I can determine whether something is super full coverage by my freckles. So the less you see my freckles, the more coverage um, it provides. So I am going to go with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Now, I've heard a lot of good things about it. I've used it a couple times and I absolutely love this concealer. It is super full coverage, super creamy, and the applicator is just like my uh, Makeup Revolution concealer applicator, but I know that this is getting compared to the uh, Tarte Shape Tape a lot. I've never purchased the Tarte Shape Tape, so can't relate. Now that we have our <laughs> tribal makeup going on, we're just going to blend this out and I'm using my, uh, uh, what is this again? <laughs> I am using my beauty blender um, just to blend everything out. Okay, now that we look awake and well rested, let's go ahead and set underneath the eyes because we don't want any creasing. So I'm going to set with my Laura Mercier setting powder.
So let's move on to the bronzing part of our makeup routine. So I'm going to bronze with the Marc Jacobs um, and then the shade 102 Tantric Omega Bronze. And as I've mentioned before in my other video, I absolutely love this bronzer. It's my favorite, it gives you that kissed by the sun <laughs> kind of a glow. So absolutely love it. It's matte, there's no shimmers. I don't like bronzers that has shimmer, um, especially since I do have uh, oily skin or combination skin. So I feel like stuff with shimmers make you look a lot oily than you really are. So. Now that we're looking all bronzy like a bronze goddess, we're going to go ahead and move on to blush. And the blush that I'm absolutely loving right now is the NYX Ombre blush. And it is in the shade Strictly Chic. Now this blush is absolutely pretty. It has more of a, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it has more of a peachy kind of a tone to it. This blush is so pretty. That is absolutely my favorite blush I've ever used so far. Sometimes I use the NYX Baked Blush, and this blush is really pretty too. You know what, I might layer it. So I'm going to go ahead and just layer on top, just a little bit. Okay, those two mixed together is just a really pretty combination absolutely loving it and now what I want to go ahead and move on to is setting the entire face so I'm going to use the Maybelline fit me loose setting powder now I know everyone has tried this before and I am really really late on trying this product um, I want to say I tried it about a week or two ago and <laughs> absolutely love it like I don't understand how I was doing my makeup without it like it sets everything so beautifully so I'm just going to take the real techniques in the uh, says powder brush so I'm just going to dust this all over my face so we can get like a really pretty smooth canvas If you are late <laughs> to this powder like I was, don't sleep on it, girl. Go on and get it. It is absolutely amazing. It's really, really good. It just makes your all your hard work that you put in, putting on this foundation, blush, concealer, it just pulls everything together. So I'm going to go ahead and set with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So let's go ahead and spray our face, melt all this powder away.
we're going to go ahead and move on to highlighting. So I'm going to use the Master Chrome by Maybelline, and this is in the shade Molten Gold. Now this is absolutely beautiful. Um, very blingy. It's not as blingy as my Becca <laughs> highlighter, but it's still pretty blingy. And I cannot, okay, there we go. So I was looking for my highlighter brush, but this is absolutely pretty. And this is one of the ones that I was, look at that. Like, <laughs> I was absolutely sleeping on this highlighter. I'm so glad that I finally, look at that. I'm so glad I finally tried it. So pretty. Okay, before I highlight my entire face, <laughs> let me stop. So, I'm going to go ahead and mist again, just so that we can melt that highlighter into our skin. And I'm just going to press it in. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes off camera. I wanted to do like a winged look and Y'all know I can't do no wing on camera, so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. I have on the Lily Lashes in the Style Miami, and I purchased these from Sephora. And in my inner corner, I do have on Rich Girl, and that's from the Too Faced uh, Chocolate Gold palette. And now, the lip that I have on is Bare Minerals. I absolutely love this lipstick. It's a cream to matte uh, lipstick, liquid lipstick, and the color is just so pretty. And yes, like, smells so good. It smells like cake batter. <laughs> So it's very velvety, um, it's extremely pigmented, and extremely comfortable. So if you're looking for a matte liquid lipstick and you're going for comfort, this is definitely where it's at. Now I wouldn't say that it's long lasting um, because after I eat, it's completely gone. So um, as long as you're not eating anything and you're just wearing it, it does last a long time. But if you're like drinking or eating, it does transfer. It's not something um, that's not going to transfer. It will transfer, um, but it's still pretty long lasting if you're not doing all that. <laughs> but when you do reapply it, it reapplies good. It doesn't crack up or give you something weird going on with your lips. It's extremely nice. And I do have the shade Om. Um, so if you want to pick that up, definitely get this. Now I do want to go ahead and talk about the Too Faced Born, well, yes, Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This concealer is absolutely my favorite. This is replacing <laughs> my Makeup Revolution concealer. I absolutely love this concealer. I love everything about it. Um, it is super hydrating. It doesn't crease. It's so beautiful. Like it really has a really beautiful finish. Um, it is full coverage. And this is one of those concealers that if you wanted to do like a makeup, no makeup look, you can definitely achieve that here. So if you're just trying to conceal certain areas, I did get this one shade lighter than my skin tone. That way I would have that option to um, do a makeup, no makeup look <laughs> if I wanted to. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Like if you're thinking about purchasing it, you should definitely give it a try. It is, um, it does retail for $29. So if you're gonna spend that much money on a concealer, you need to love it. And I absolutely love it. So if you're um, 
complexion is close to mine. I do have it in the shade Sand and I absolutely love it. So I absolutely love everything that I tried today and with the Maybelline Fit Me, I know that I was late to the game on this, but I absolutely love this as well. I think it makes your makeup look absolutely flawless. Um, yeah, I mean, look at this makeup. It's just so good. And I feel like I should have been hit to this a long time ago. I wish I would have purchased this a long time ago. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I do have it in the shade light medium. And so it has a little bit of a tint to it. But if you haven't purchased that already, I would highly, highly recommend getting that and add it to your uh, makeup routine and you will see a nice difference. It just pulls everything together. Okay, well that is it you guys. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys later.